because of the parts you've played and the parts I know you from on TV, like with Married with Children and stuff, I always thought that you were like this chick who grew up like maybe in the Midwest or the South or something. But your dad was a famous, like a pretty successful director. Yeah. You were a showbiz family. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What I, did he direct? He directed all early television, Dr. Kildare and Peter Gunn, Man From U.N.C.L.E. Man From U.N.C.L.E.? Did you go yeah, to the set with him? I did. And that was sort of like, you know, my, uh, I would go, I would make friends that way. I'd bring him down to the set because I was kind of shy. And wasn't that the coolest work environment to go to a set and it, see that being shot? It was pretty cool. I actually met Elvis Presley that way too because he did an Elvis Presley movie. So Which I, one? Girl Happy. And how old were you when you met Elvis? I think I was around 12. When you have a dad like that, right. it becomes your burning desire to become an actress, oh, right? Oh, not at all. No. In fact, I you know, I, I wanted to be, when I grew up, a singer-songwriter, which was, he he sort of was not very on board with that, even though I was pretty good. Even you were as real a kid. good. And when you tell your dad you're going to be a singer, he's disappointed in you. He wanted you to be an actress. Well, I think now that I have my own children, I understand where he was coming from. He wanted me to have medical benefits. Right. <laughs> he knew he could get me a union card. You right. know, he was like, here, no, be in this television show. He he put me in a show called Columbo when I was eight, 17, 16, something, so that I would get a union card. And I think he knew I was going to go into show business, so he just but wanted to protect me. I mean, the, the At fact the that time, I didn't think it was so sweet. I thought he was really not letting me, you know, do your thing, do my thing, and I was mad at him. But I mean, imagine a dad who says, "Hey, I'm going to put you in Columbo." I mean, uh, my that's dad, a great show. I mean, yeah, yeah that, that's he actually, I think he thought I was a, a good actor. You know, I was in the high right. school plays, and right. he thought, "Well, she can do this." So, and he sent me to. I wanted to go to a music college, and he he wouldn't let me be in the music department. He that's said, crazy. "If you can be in the th if you can audition." and get in the theater department, I'll pay for you to go there. So I did. But what's amazing got... is you actually had success as a, you, you were a backup singer. Yes. And you sang for Bob Dylan. Yes. And you sang for Bette Midler. Yes. Etta James. Etta James. That's yes. a real legitimate singer. What can a background singer make a year? I mean, honestly. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't great that way. How do you get was... paid? Like when Dylan hires you. And where did you meet Dylan to hire Bob Dylan? Well, this is, this is my Dylan story. So I, was, I had this friend of mine I was in a band with, and there were three girls in the band, and she knew Bob Dylan because she used to go hang out at his house up in Malibu. And he said, come down to the rehearsal, bring some singers. So she brought me. I mean, right. I literally, he never even heard me. So he hired me. And, and when you walk in and you see Bob Dylan standing there. Yeah, I was the, a little freaked out. I was 19. I right. Was really 19. And were you confident? I mean, did you say to yourself, I can nail this, I can get this job? I, I don't know. I mean, I was confident as a singer, so I just I think I was just kind of going along with it. But when you audition for Dylan, how does that go down? You're standing there. He says, okay, let's do Blowing in the Wind. And then you stand in the... Yeah. And, and really, so what song did you sing with Bob Dylan? The when, only ones I really remember was Just Like a Woman. Um, wow. Eh, nobody feels any pain. That's right, yeah. Right. And then... Um, uh, there were a couple, you know, I don't even, I, it was, it was kind of a blur. Did you sing on the records? No, no, no. no this just is, I worked with him for two months. Two months? Two months. I, I rehearsed with him before a tour. I always put it on my resume though, because it was, it was, it was freaking awesome. Right. And then, uh, you know, I was Why just, two months though? I mean, Because he fired me. <laughs> well, are you fi Do you have any idea why you were fired? Well, no, I don't. I, I mean, in my mind, it's because I'm sure I was doing a terrible job. I was so intimidated. You know, this is what would happen. We would rehearse, and then we'd sit in a room, and he'd play the tape back, like right. from rehearsing. So if you made a mistake, he wouldn't really, like, say anything. He'd just look at you. Oh. And you'd just oh you'd be like, yeah. like this big. Oh. So that was a little intimidating. How? Of course. Weren't you like on one of those Mary Tyler Moore shows, but not the was. not the uh, the big one? The, yeah, the, I was on the one after the big one. Oh, great! Oh, <laughs> was that your big break as an actress on television? Uh, yeah, it was my first sitcom, and they you they, were acting in plays, and somebody spotted yeah. you and put you on the Mary Tyler Moore show. Yes, yes, and yes, and I and my part was I played this like hardcore reporter, and I'd smoke cigarettes and blow smoke in Mary's face. And then do you get married with children? Right, I after did. That? Like six months after that, do you have to audition for that? I did. Wasn't the original vision for Married with Children that it was going to be a big, plump, dumpy yeah. housewife? Well, I read the script and I thought, these people speak horribly to each other. They must have great sex. I mean, something has to keep them together so right. at the end of the day. So, and I just dolled her up. I just went in looking that way. I sort of, you know, wore tight clothes. She always seemed too good for him. I mean, to me, there were always a couple that got married very young. And then... There was no option about getting out, you know, for financial reasons, for, 
you know, it's just not what you do. I mean, I think there's a lot of people like that. I remember uh, when that show came on the air, the Fox network was brand new. Right. The only shows they had were Married with Children and The Simpsons. Right. And Married with Children was a real unexpected hit. I think people thought that was going to be off after two episodes. Oh. Right? They were just Well, they like tried to take it off the air, but there was one woman named Terry Ricolta that caused mm-hmm. this big stir that got us on the cover of the New York Times and tripled our ratings. Right. Yeah. But she tried to get us off because her kid, she didn't want her kid to watch it. You know, and Perfect. our response was like, you know, just change the channel. It was all this censorship bullshit. You know, yeah. it was like, n- no. So I know something about that. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. you do. Yeah. So our response was, or the producer's response, I was just a hired gun, was, you know, we're not, you know, go away. So she boosted our ratings. We ended up sending her flowers every year with a big thank you <laughs> card. 